The year is now 2022. By December 20, 2023 it was planned to finish all the work under the contractor's contract, namely to completely dismantle the old sarcophagus which hides the destroyed fourth reactor. But before I get to the video, I want to recommend you my new channel Visioner Crime, where I tell about interesting and criminal stories and mysterious disappearances, shocking crimes in the USA and Europe. I am sure you will not be bored. Follow the link that appeared in the upper right corner. Also, the link to the channel I placed in the description to this video. So, let's continue. There is no news on television, and the official websites of the nuclear power plant are also silent. But how to be and how to know if dismantling of the shelter is in progress or not. However, I heard that the dismantling work has begun, of course not as fast as it was planned, but the work is already started. The dismantling of the upper part of the sarcophagus, i.e. the roof and the roof, is sort of underway. In 2021 the partial dismantling of the sarcophagus was going on and then stopped, but in the fall the work stopped. This was due to a popular sore that is now going around. I think you know what I mean. It was because of it that the supply of material from overseas was suspended. But that was in 2021, in 2022, plans changed dramatically. Let's talk today in this issue, is the old shelter facility currently being dismantled or is it still a fake? Hello friends. You're on the channel Visioner. Let's get started. Generally speaking, to be honest, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant is good business. Ukrainian officials are begging for money from the West every time to repair the plant, but as we all know by now, half of the money goes into someone's pocket, the other half makes it to the plant. And that's not always the case. So basically, because of this repair, the dismantling of the old sarcophagus is slowing down. No kidding, friends, that's what I'm talking about, if the authorities hadn't stolen, the old sarcophagus would have been dismantled a long time ago. I'm not going to name the huge sums of money that the West gives them every year to repair the plant. If you add up all these sums, you could have built 15 new stations just like this one. Now, on to the point, let me, friends, let me now list to you all the dates of construction of the new facility that you can find. January 26, 2009, a new sarcophagus is planned to be built at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant, which will be called Companies. August 25, 2010, major construction of the new sarcophagus began. September 25, 2010, in a virtual program, the destroyed reactor of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant is hidden under a unique roof. September 26, 2010, a conference of donor countries on Chernobyl is underway, to be held in April 2011. October 7, 2010, Ukraine urges EBRD to intensify work at Chernobyl nuclear power plant. March 25, 2011, a similar sarcophagus should be built over Fukushima Daiichi, chief expert says. July 25, 2011, EBRD signs contract with French company Novarka for design of new safe end. On February 21, 2013, the Novarka Consortium carries out work on the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. April 30, 2015, the West gives Kiev $530 million for a sarcophagus for the Chernobyl NPP. September 10, 2015, France completes preliminary assembly of new CHNPP sarcophagus. November 11, 2015, CHNPP intends to accelerate the project of sealing the existing structures of the second stage. March 25, 2016, Chernobyl NPP began construction of the wall for the new shelter. On October 10, 2016, the arch over Unit 4 of the Chernobyl NPP is scheduled to be thrust on November 3. November 2, 2016, the new Chernobyl nuclear power plant sarcophagus will become a multi-purpose facility with a service life of 100 years. November 30, 2016, four units of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant are covered by an arch. May 15, 2018, U.S. shelters 200 homeless puppies from Chernobyl exclusion zone. On August 24, 2018, Chernobyl NPP redirected airflow from the shelter facility to the MBC ventilation stack. January 25, 2019, systems response tests for radiation leaks are conducted at Chernobyl. On February 11, 2019, the arch over Chernobyl Unit 4 prepares to go into operation. 
That, friends, was all the news from Novark's official website. As you understood, the last news from the company was on February 11, 2019, that the arch over the fourth unit of Chernobyl NPP is preparing to go into operation. It turns out that this is the third year that the arch has been going into operation and it will never come into operation. For us, Novarka has not advertised anything else since 2019, i.e. no news at all. Still, on some forums people are sharing information. Once again, by December 20, 2023, the old sarcophagus under the new NSC arch is strictly to be dismantled and removed to the radioactive waste disposal facility. The question that has been haunting me for years, they will dismantle the old sarcophagus, they will dismantle the fourth power unit, they will disassemble all the remains and they will take them to Buryakovo. I have a question, okay, if these wastes were taken out and disposed of, okay, I agree, but what difference does it make that this garbage is phoned at the Chernobyl plant, and what difference does it make that this garbage will also be phoned elsewhere? I understand if you disassemble the sarcophagus and then recycle it, dispose of the contaminated materials and forget about it. But no, these wastes will lie and radiate radiation elsewhere, and everything around them will die in the same way, nature, animals, sick people, contamination, groundwater, and everything like that. As an option, would it not be easier to completely cover the fourth power unit with earth, then zinc, then lead, then sand and then concrete and make an alley, like a public garden, like a monument? For example, that's what they did at Fukushima. They didn't think long there, they cleaned the surface, dug holes, put it down and kept it, now there has been a public garden there since the beginning of 2021. There wasn't particularly much work at the Chernobyl plant to dismantle. Mostly this preparation. If you leaf through internet sites on the subject of dismantling the old sarcophagus at Chernobyl, it's all the same. Each crook copies from another crook and there is no new information or there is information, but, again, false. In my case I am not interested in information from the internet. I have acquaintances who work at the station. Otherwise, there wouldn't be so many videos about Chernobyl plant. Liars only write that the dismantling will be completed by December 20, 2023. Believe me, guys, i have known this for a long time. The fact is, this is a very dangerous mission. Believe me, if there was no danger, the old sarcophagus would have been dismantled back in 1998. But then again, if there was stable financing, the West kind of financed it, but the green papers didn't always reach the plant. But this is a really serious matter, but it seems to us that the designers and workers are not doing anything, they are just dragging their feet and blah blah blah. No, friends, in principle I think so, let them do it all slowly, rather than rush and make some other stupid accident. Because when dismantling this building, not a small amount of strontium and cesium was absorbed on the walls and, in fact, inside the walls of the sarcophagi, despite the fact that many years have passed and it would seem that a small half-life has happened, but there is even more radioactive material under the sarcophagus. There is also the so-called elephant foot that I did a video about. If not properly disassembled, the slightest mistake could cause radioactive dust to rise upwards and workers could be injured. But taking apart the sarcophagus, meaning the walls, the roof, the roof, in general, all the partitions and so on, is half the battle. The juiciest thing awaits us under the sarcophagus, so to speak, a surprise, I would say, only a terrible surprise. You've probably already guessed which one. You guessed right. It's the remnants of the fourth unit and the fuel that's underneath it. I'll tell you honestly, there's no scenario yet for the dismantlement of Unit 4. That is, the experts, the environmentalists, indeed, all the designers of the plant have not yet decided exactly how the reactor will be dismantled. Of course, you can drive a crowd of people to this whole thing, just like in 1986. Of course, they will dismantle the sarcophagus and reactor by their own hands, but you understand what the consequences will be, radiation sickness, lung cancer. Yeah, well, you know that without me. But, guys, this is the 21st century in full swing. Robots are doing a lot of dangerous work instead of people. Robots work in space, and they work in mines underground, and they swim underwater. And in fact, as of 2022, there are already 10 trained robots that are already doing potentially dangerous jobs instead of people. 
So, at the moment, it is the development of robots to take apart the sarcophagus and the reactor, that's what's underneath it. But, again, that's far from the worst thing I told you. Under the sarcophagus is the destroyed reactor, and under the reactor is a huge amount of various radioactive substances and debris that were dropped by the emergency responders from the roof of a nearby building. The exact amount of such radioactive substances is not known, a mass of about 200 tons of molten nuclear fuel and debris that has been ignited and formed into various solidified shapes, similar to an elephant's foot. This mass remains highly radioactive, and scientists have not yet decided what to do about it. I thank you for watching. Your support is very important to me. Your comments and thumbs up motivate me to release new videos on interesting topics. Subscribe and turn on notifications. See you in the new videos.